charged for the death of three women in a deadly car crash on the north side back in November was sentenced in court today. Our Brio Preciado was there. After nearly eight Look months of deadly crash near Sherman. Look at that, man. Good God almighty. And that nigga walked away unscathed in the other car. And florist state of wisconsin versus everton stewart 23 year old everton stewart appeared in court friday to hear his sentence keep reliving the same november the third over and over and over in an emotional hearing where families of three women bobby dyson lashonda jackson and ebony johnson expressed their pain for their losses you hit them and you didn't look back you didn't try to call the police you didn't try to look you didn't try to help them you took that away from all of them you walk past them like they was nothing. I just want you to know, Mr. Stewart, that you have tore the core out of my heart. Prosecutors say Stewart's license was revoked because of a 2019 conviction of operating while intoxicated. You didn't just walk away from the accident. You walked away from an accident where there was the body of a woman contorted in the grass in a, you know, a position where it was clear she had suffered terrible injuries. There were two other women still in the car. Stewart was sentenced to 36 years with 15 years extended. 36 years. 36 years. Yeah, he'll be an old man when he get out. He's 23. Now he'll 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 do he'll do 36, he'll do 25. He'll be home when he's in his 40s. He'll be fine. Nothing was lost. He wasn't going to do shit anyway. Terrible injuries. He was out here. He was out here driving around drunk and killing people. He wasn't going to do shit. He, 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 nothing's lost. Oh, you know, he'll be he'll be out. He'll, he'll do his 25 years standing on his head. Other women still in the car. Stewart was sentenced to 36 years with 15 years extended supervision. While the family continues to mourn, they find comfort in seeking justice. It's a sense of relief. Yeah. Because now this part is over, so now we can start moving forward. And we're going to begin with breaking news here on Fox Local. Prosecutors charging the man they say is responsible for killing two people in a crash in Pewaukee. Waukesha County reporter Brett Lemoyne joins us live with the reason investigators say this should have never happened. Brett? Yeah, Ted and Stephanie, prosecutors say the driver, Jade Moen, had his license revoked. Court documents, or court commissioner rather, set his cash bond at a million dollars today. Prosecutors charged the 49-year-old Menominee Falls man. White people do it too, man. With two counts of first-degree reckless homicide and knowingly operating a motor vehicle without a valid license, among other felony charges. The crash happened Wednesday morning near the intersection of Capitol Drive and Pewaukee Road. A witness told investigators Moen was traveling about 40 miles an hour in a construction zone. Investigators say he rear-ended a sedan driven by a 76-year-old woman. A deputy had difficulty getting to her because there was so much damage to the car. That deputy and several citizens tried seeing CPR for more than 10 minutes, but the woman was pronounced dead at the scene. Prosecutors say Moen kept going and hit two construction workers a tenth of a mile down the road. A 46-year-old man was taken to the hospital and pronounced dead. Prosecutors say the other worker may never walk again. A witness to this crash estimated Moen was driving about 60 to 80 miles an hour at that scene. Moen's defense attorney says he suffered a seizure and lost control of the vehicle. Deputies say Moen yeah, right. And gave them a driver's license at the scene that was stamped void. Fast forward to October of 2022, there is an accident. In August of 2023, another accident. We don't even have the specifics as it relates to that. And then in August of 2029, his driving status is revoked indefinitely. Now, a witness also told investigators that Moen never tried to slow down after that first crash. Uh, Moen's wife also told deputies that he's a construction worker and he left home that morning to pick up supplies from Menards. Rep wow. Wow. Think the company partially. Why would you give it? Huh? 
Mm-hmm. I say you think the company he worked for is partially at fault? Nah. Hell no. Nah. He was re- he responsible for that. 100 percent If he's a construction worker, he know not to speed through a construction zone. But he was speeding through construction zone because he had just hit the 76-year-old lady. And damaged her car so bad they couldn't even get to her. They couldn't even get her out the damn car. Yeah, but so he kept going after that. How about his oh, license well, being avoided? All oh, the construction company supposed to know that? I don't know if they supposed to know that. I don't know if they yeah, they if they but if if they are, then yeah, then they're then they're they're partially at fault for something. No, they're, 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 they're minimally at fault, but I mean he's a grown man. He he did that shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. Mm, 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 mm. Sons, sons, sons. 